Libra, this is your rest of August into early September finance 2020. Read, holler, etcher, bite. Hangman, doesn't surprise me. Quarantine, COVID. Okay, someone's being smug, maybe not doling out more than they can. Someone's being emotionally strong, Libra. Moving on to a better place, kind of leaving this environment, maybe. Maybe leaving the Queen of Cups. Spirit, can you clarify? Someone's putting down the burden, even though they're almost at a completion here with this Nine of Wands. So they're at an they're at an odd they're they're at odds with this Queen of Cups, possibly, or could be you, Libra. Play it as you uh, as you deem fit, but that Queen of Cups is Gemini Cancerian energy. The Six of Swords is Aquarius energy, could be Libra Gemini, but emphasis on Aquarius. Uh, Queen of Cups could also be, for that matter, Pisces Scorpio, emphasis on Cancer Gemini. <clears throat> Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy, also could be Aries Leo, emphasis on Sag. Um, point being, someone's burdened, and they want to move away. I'm assuming that they want to move either to the Queen of Cups or away, but I feel like whatever the scenario or the circumstance is where they where it's them or you moving away from the burden, that's what I would imagine the natural course would be, is to want to put down the burden. And I kind of see the Queen of Cups as someone to want to move towards. Um, because she's like a motherly figure, you know? And she takes care of her people emotionally. This is like enjoying your environment, the Sun card in reverse, and justice coming to fruition. Again, this is more Libra energy. Someone was tired of hanging out with the King of Pentacles, possibly. They were keeping them hamstrung. That's Aries Taurus energy, Libra. And uh, they maybe had you as the hangman here. This is Piscean energy, I believe. You learned your lesson. You gained, you gained some enlightenment, but at the same time, and I feel like this is a double reiteration here, but almost at a, at a higher volume right here with the Sun card in reverse, symbolic of the halo. Halo, okay? So this is where you were, but then now, if you're gonna be in quarantine, you might as well be in quarantine with mama. Okay, she's gonna take better care of you, Libra. So again, this is finances, so it's tied into location, location, location. You could be moving your location, excuse me, and trying to, you know, seek uh, what's right for you, the truth of what's right for you. Um, this is the traveling, relocating card right here, the Six of Swords. That's what I'm getting. You're tired of being burdened. You're trying to tired of being hamstrung. You want justice, Libra. It's all about it. You're all about it. Makes sense to me. Let me know in the comments. If it makes sense to you. Yeah, heartbreak, spinning the wheel of fortune, taking your chances. Especially with this wheel of fortune, it's the head of the of a human atop that sphinx, symbolic of Virgo, as we're leaving the body of a lion, Leo, Leo season, right? So this is a pivoting point, a major pivoting point in the game, okay? Think of it as halftime. People are reconfiguring and they're kind of, kind of, water is, water is meeting its level, really, truly, um, you know, there's a lot of soulmate unions happening. I, myself, just fell into a what I would imagine is a twin flame soulmate. But uh, I feel like, you know, since everything's up in the air and up for grabs this year, I think people are finding their, their level and miracles are happening left and right because everything's been put on pause. So I'm getting the completion of a cycle with the world card here. And then coming out of a period of rest and meditation, that might be what the hangman was. And this is inde indelibly gonna greatly affect your finances. Could be a relocation, Libra. To go where you could, this is coming out of a decision-making process. Um, having to hold tight, having held tight to your pinnacle, to your finances, to your income, your resources, it doesn't have to be just money. It could be your living situation, but maybe ready to let go and go go find your worth. Is what I'm getting, Libra. Spirit of love and light, highest possible messages for August into September. 
Yeah, this is inner knowing. Opening up to your heart, letting your guard down, inner knowing. The king swords in the reverse. This is being too hard on yourself about this imbalance that you put up with. Okay, someone had you out of your wit's end with that queen of swords in the reverse. Progressive, professional, business oriented, the most professional of all the queens in the deck, but someone had you by the balls, really, Libra. I mean, not to be too coarse, but you're changing course. So. And of course you're gonna, you know, want to try to balance the scales, Libra, because you realize that you were out of whack. Even if you were dealing with uh, you know, something that you thought was for you. And so that two of pentacles in the reverse is out of whack. Could have been quarrelsome, the environment. And they're like, miss me with that, man. I'm not going to stay here. Alright, I mean, it seems pretty simple to me. Feel free to like, share, follow, comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. And I think you're going to come up smelling like roses right here. Libra, at the end of the day, because this four is newfound stability, newfound glory. You think four legs of a chair table, stable, uh, public recognition, celebration, it could be parties, baptisms, weddings, quinceaneras, graduations. And this is just reigning supreme over the element of, you know, um, action, taking action and just like kind of standing in your glamour, sitting in your glamour here, Libra, having taken an action step towards this new union and lifestyle and way of being and it's glorious energy that's what i'm getting for you libra um again comment below let me know if that resonates with you and uh I, again i just see either way on either end you're moving to a better place where you're celebrated instead of tolerated okay that's what i'm getting here it's like the baby is being taken care of it could be the infinite divine baby of self where you're focusing on your self-love, but nonetheless, it's so beautiful. Look at these two mamas. They're like, oh, he fine. He's just doing what he's doing. Oh, she good. She's just a little wild one. Look at that. Like, they're just in the area, that energy, that beautiful energy. So, could be a baby, uh, baptism or something. Let me know, baby shower, bridal shower, the baby being born, something like that, Libra. But and it could be starting your family, and that's just a relocation that's attached to your career. Let me know, comment below. I always like to know if these are accurate or not, and um, holler at your boy. Peace.